Ninjas! Welcome back to Chai Time with Misha. Today on the menu we have some new lipsticks from Bite Beauty and they are called the Bite Beauty Buttercream Hand Cut Lipsticks. Now this collection consists of lip colors that are basically nudes or neutrals and these neutral shades have pink undertones, mauve undertones, brown undertones, kind of purpley undertones, but basically they're all nude neutral shades and they um, go from light to deeper shades. And I believe the concept behind this collection is to have that nude neutral shade for several different skin tones. So I have three colors to show you today and the first one is pecan and that is kind of a pink based nude neutral shade and then the second one I'll be showing you is marzipan and that has purpley mauve tones to it and then lastly is hazelnut which is kind of a truly mid-tone brown neutral shade so we'll get into the swatches and then I'll wrap up with a review for you guys <laughs> by how nicely and opaquely uh, Pecan applied. I was a little concerned that it wouldn't show up as opaque on me because it is that light, warm, pinky nude shade. But um, I definitely layer it twice. However, it's still, I feel, applied quite nicely for a pinky nude. It didn't get into the crevices or you know like my lip natural lip color wasn't peeping through and it was it was applying evenly and I was impressed. Hazelnut. So hazelnut is a mauvey purpley even lilac I would say like a dusty lilac mommy purpley nude shade and I definitely feel like if you like shades such as um, Lorac's Alter Ego Lipstick in Goddess or NARS Audacious Lipstick in Dominique or the NARS uh, Lip Liner in El Agua this is that similar type of color and I think you'll definitely like it and I, in fact, think this is a little more wearable than um, Lorac's Goddess or NARS Dominique. So if you're looking for a more wearable version of it, um, this is definitely a good pick. Lastly, Marzipan. So Marzipan is a medium milky brown nude shade. I really really like this one. I think this one is my favorite of the three shades and it also reminds me a little bit of um, a lipstick from Marc Jacobs and I've shown it in a previous video that was exclusively about my Marc Jacobs collection and I believe that one is called J'adore and this really reminds me of that one. So if you like that, um, but you want a lipstick, that, a lipstick that's a... I feel like this is just a couple dollars cheaper though. Marc Jacobs one is 30 and this is 28 But if you want to save a couple dollars, this is a nice option as well. And this is definitely more emollient than the Marc Jacobs form. Alright, so not that there is a necessity to pair lip liners with these lipsticks. Uh, they're very opaque on their own, but if you want to sort of emphasize or deepen any particular color, I have some lip liner recommendations for each color. So for the one that I'm wearing right now, which is Marzipan, I would recommend Nice and Spicy from MAC Prolong Wear. 
and also nudist from Marc Jacobs palette liners because these are like brownie nude lip liners in themselves so and also these lipsticks are very emollient so if you're uh, someone who gets that sort of slip and slide and needs a neat outline these lip, uh, lip liners would be helpful for that reason I want to mention one more for marzipan and that is button from ColourPop that will look nice with that as well now I have three recommendations for hazelnut which is the purpley one um, so first there's bound from ColourPop Primrose from Marc Jacobs Pout Liners, and then Morning Coffee, which is a lot like Max World Lipstick, and this is from the Prolong Wear line, um, and they will look nice with hazelnut. Now going lastly to Pecan, all the ones that I showed you earlier for Marzipan would look nice with Pecan. It's still going to maintain its pinkiness, but these will just add some warmth and depth to it. So again, this nudist from Marc Jacobs, nice and spicy from MAC, and button from ColourPop. Um, okay, so those are my lip liner suggestions. Again, it's not needed to add pigmentation to these lipsticks, but just to outline your lips so the lipstick stay in place, or to deepen or make the color you know, a little darker, warmer, whatever you want to do, like that. Um, so now these lipsticks, how are they different from the original Luminous Cream lipsticks? So their packaging is more like flat because inside the original ones are like a normal slanted lipstick bullet tip, whereas these new ones are hand cut. So the slanted tip is cut and this is how the lipstick comes. It comes flattened out like that. And um, the theory behind that is that um, when the top portion or the waxy portion of the bullet is cut, you get to the emollient buttery part of the lipstick, the creamiest part of the lipstick already. But um, the quantity of the luminous cream, which the original line, and the new hand cut buttercream lipsticks is the same. They're both 0.15 ounces. However, the original lipsticks retail for $24 and the new ones retail for $28. So you're paying $4 more, quantity is the same. Um, of course, I feel like I do have quite a few lipsticks from the Luminous Cream line and the ones that I have are not, you know, like dead on to the colors in the Luminous Cream line, so I can't really, um, I didn't really see any close dupes there. There might be similar shades, like I have Shiraz and Pepper from the original line, and sure, they're like, you know, mauvey, rosy nudes as well, but they're not identical to the shades. Okay, so I grabbed Shiraz and Pepper to show you guys their swatches. So Shiraz is first and then Pepper is next to it. I feel like Shiraz is obviously closest to this shade over here to Hazelnut and um, not that close to Pecan or Marzipan. Okay, so now I want to kind of talk to you guys about how the new hand cut buttercream lipsticks are different or in any way better than the luminous cream lipsticks because some of you might be wondering like it's four bucks more is it is it a gimmick is it really creamier what's the situation the difference between the bite beauty buttercream lipsticks and the original luminous cream lipsticks is um, that the packaging of the new lipsticks is just much sturdier than the packaging of the original luminous cream lipsticks like it just it feels thinner it feels like more plasticky and the cap is thinner and it's just it's more lightweight whereas the buttercream lipsticks it definitely feels heavier 
the packaging, like this part, it's still plastic, but as you can see, that is not as loud. So it's not as, you know, it doesn't feel as cheaper, I want to say. This definitely feels more luxe. Like even this part is thick. There's like a whole layering thing going on here and here as well. I, that's, um, and I think that is because of it having a magnetic closure so it keeps the lipstick more secure so again a subtle difference but yeah this packaging definitely feels more luxe and high-end than this one and actually I do like this just very stubby little flat you know um, tube instead of like these kind of things so the original Luminous Cream Lipsticks from Bite are very creamy, they are smooth, they are moisturizing, they don't really dry out your lips, but these new ones literally feel like you're gliding something really emollient and buttery on your lips. Is there a drastic difference? No. There's a, very, a hint of a difference in the formula. Um, but what I did notice is that across the board, I like the pigmentation and the opacity of these buttercream lipsticks a little more than the Bite Beauty Luminous Cream Lipsticks. They also feel a little more lighter in weight than the Luminous Cream Lipsticks. But again, the differences are very, very subtle. So if you're concerned about the $4 and you know, you can see that Shiraz or Pepper are very close to Hazelnut. And if you want to, you know, save those $4, you might want to opt for the Luminous Cream Lipsticks. Um, so yeah, I am definitely pleased with the formula. The opacity is great and the color selection is nice. And now lastly, uh, how is the staying power of these super emollient, creamy, buttery lipsticks? Um, it's average for a lipstick. Like These are not going to be long lasting. If I eat or I drink something, even if I have it paired with a lip liner, I feel like the lipstick portion fades away and only like the lip liner color is remaining. So these definitely just sort of disappear if you're eating like a solid meal. They'll transfer onto your cup if you're having a drink. So yeah, staying power is nothing exceptional for these. It's just you're getting comfortable wear. And it's, you know, I recommend these for people who want that comfort, that creamy finish, that bit of sheen, and don't really care about the longevity or staying power of the lipstick. So comfort wins here. Anyway, I hope you found this review helpful. And please share and like the video if you found it informative or entertaining. And please remember to subscribe to this channel for more videos. Thank you. Until next time.